Welcome back to a new video. Today's video is going to be about how we built this DIY electric shortboard. The first part we used was this deck, which is a 36 inch long deck featuring a mini kicktail. It's a little bit shorter than most of our decks, which is why it's going to be a great fit for this build. We will be using the 97mm ABEC flywheel clone wheels from Amazon. We chose the 97mm wheels because they're larger and it will make the ride much smoother. We have the wheel pulley installed in this shop because we figured it would be pretty self-explanatory on how to belt it on, but here it is, it's a 12mm wide pulley from DIY Electric Skateboard for ABEC wheels. The motor mount is a caliber style motor mount from eSkate Supply. I highly recommend checking this webpage out, there's some pretty cool products and there's great customer service. The motor pulley is an 18 tooth 12mm wide pulley from DIY Electric Skateboard and the wheel pulley is a 36 tooth 12mm wide pulley. Between the two pulleys is a 285mm belt. These can all be purchased as a part of the ABEC pulley combo kit. We went ahead and mounted the trucks to the deck but we're using some caliber style trucks which are by far the most common trucks for DIY electric skateboard builds. They fit the motor mounts perfectly and they're nice and sturdy quality trucks. You can purchase them from Caliber Truck Co. The motor we will be using is a 260 kV 6355 motor from Torque Boards. It has a higher kV because we're going to be using a battery with a lower voltage. This will impact the torque but it will increase the speed of the board. The first thing to do is to mount the motor to the motor mount using M4 bolts. You can then use an allen key to tighten the screws some more, but make sure to not tighten them all the way as the motor will still need adjusting for the belt tension. The next step is to mount the motor mount to the truck. You can just slide the mount over the hanger of the truck and it should slide and fit the exact shape. Then insert the keyway into the shaft of the motor. This is a crucial step because the motor requires the keyway to actually turn the pulley. You can then slide the motor pulley over the shaft of the motor. Next, make a loose fitting for all of the drivetrain components to determine where to mount the motor mount. This can be done by sliding the belt over the axle and then putting the wheel pulley on. Rotate the wheel and motor pulley until the belt aligns itself into place. If you find that the belt isn't perfectly aligned between the two pulleys, slide the motor mount up or down the hanger. That way the belt is perfectly aligned over the two. Once the motor mount is in the perfect position, you can start by tightening the outside screw on the motor mount to tighten the clamp. You can then start to tighten the set screws, which will dig into the hanger of the truck. Make sure that you tighten all of these screws thoroughly to ensure that the motor mount does not shift while riding or fall off. The next step is to set the belt tension, which can be done by sliding the motor down the motor mount and then tightening the screws. Make sure your belt is tight, but that it has a little bit of give. Once you've found the perfect spot for belt tension, go back and tighten the screws on the motor mount. Make sure to use Loctite if you want some extra safety. Tighten these screws down very thoroughly, that way the motor does not move at all. At this point, the drivetrain of this board is pretty much done. You can spin the wheel to make sure that everything spins freely. This motor mount does include a belt guard, so you can just screw it in using a Phillips head screwdriver. The result is a pretty professional looking drivetrain. Moving on to the electronics, the remote and receiver we will be using is the Nano X remote from Inertion. The ESC we will be using is the Inertion Fock Box. This is one of the best ESCs, but you can't purchase it anymore, so you can just use a regular VESC. The battery is a 6S4P Samsung 25R battery from Torque Boards. We've had this build for a while now, so we're just making the video. You might notice that there's some extra wires connected to the battery, which is because the charge port broke off. Just ignore those. It's a great battery, but it is 6S, which is why we have to use the 260 kV motor if we want any speed. 
One of the nice features of this battery was that it came with a free enclosure for USA customers. It also has a built-in percentage indicator, power switch, and USB ports. We first connected the battery to the Fock box. The battery uses an XT90 connector, whereas the Fock box uses an XT60. Because of this, we made this adapter that fits between the two. We then plugged the receiver into the Fock box using the built in male servo connector. All the components were then secured to the bottom of the enclosure using Velcro. We then connected the motor to the Fock box by plugging the phase wires through the enclosure and into the 5.5mm bullet connectors we soldered onto the Fock box. We will be utilizing the sensor wire built into the motor, so we plugged the sensor wire cable into the sensor wire of the motor, and then we plugged the opposite end into the connecting side on the VESC. If you are choosing to run censored FOC, make sure you buy the VESC sensor wires this is an important connection because it adapts the motor sensor wire to the VESCs. We then programmed the Fock box in the BLDC tool. We're using FOC censored mode with 80 amps max on the battery and 80 amps max on the motor. To bolt the enclosure to the deck, we are just using a screw that goes through the top of the deck through the enclosure and then putting a washer and a nut on top. That way it is secured to the bottom of the deck. The torque board's enclosures do have the tendency to crack, so make sure you don't tighten your enclosure down too much. We then mounted all of the other wheels to the trucks. The build is now completely finished and this is what the finished project looked like. Ignore the wires sticking out from where the charge port should be on the battery and also the extra motor mount on the other side which we forgot to take off. The rest of this video is just going to be writing footage of us writing this board. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe to us if you aren't already and like this video. Comment below what you think about this skateboard or if you have any suggestions for future videos. Thanks again so much for watching and we'll see you guys in the next video.